Hello Internet and welcome back to my channel or in case you're new here, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Matthew van der Putt, I'm a Belgian living in Sydney, Australia. I'm a time-lapse and happy-lapse photographer and this channel is all about time-lapse travel and teaching. That was a good one. Today I want to talk to you more about my lighting setup. A, a bit of context, last year through the help of my amazing Patreon family, I purchased a set of LED lights for YouTube. These were my, you know, new YouTube lights and I was really happy with them, but I kind of struggled finding the right setup for that system. You can watch that previous video where I talk about how I replaced those lights with the Aperture Light Dome. Pretty happy with the Light Dome, actually extremely happy. The only issue with the Light Dome is, well, there's no issue with the Light Dome. The issue is with me and my office and, and my, my YouTube space, my editing cave where I am right now. It's really rather small, you can watch a office tour somewhere here um, and the light dome is quite big I think it's almost like a cubic meter or maybe a bit less and that's fine it gives you beautiful you know soft light as you can see right now it's just a little bit too big for my office so I fired off another email to the team at Aperture and one week later they send me a box with not one not two but three lighting modifiers in it and that's pretty cool thank you Aperture also it's pretty cool seeing Aperture just pop up everywhere you know peter mckinnon's been using their lights for quite a while i saw Devin graham now it's got their setup i've been using them i'm sure there's lots of other youtubers using it if you're looking for affordable yet high quality video or cinema lights uh, check these guys out they're really cool and they've got a great support team as well now what was in the box what's in the box no, you stay awake that looks better What's in the box? So they send me stuff that I didn't even ask for, which is pretty cool. So as you know, I've got the LS120D light, which is a really cool LED blaster. I call it, it's so good. And they send me this in the box. This is the Light Dome Mini. Look how small this bag is. I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll go through that. They also sent me the space light, which is this little bit. And then they also sent me the Fresnel mount. A Fresnel lens is a type of lens developed in the 1800s, mainly for usage, usage? Mainly to be used in lighthouses. Now, the way a Fresnel lens works is that because of its design that you can see here, it uses way less um, volume, way less material to reach the same effect as a conventional glass lens, which would be, you know, thicker and uh, just use more glass. So. That's cool. They've been used since then in uh, aviation, the little reading lights in airplanes, in automobiles, in photography for other lenses and stuff. And you can find them everywhere on film sets as well. The cool thing about this one is that it just attaches to the front of your LS120 or I think 300D as well. And not only that, but you can actually go from flood mode to, hold on, what am I doing? Spot mode. So this is a variable uh, Fresnel mount that is really lightweight. I don't know what material this is, but it seems pretty heat resistant and yeah, it's good to have. I don't know how I'm gonna use it, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it someday. The second lighting modifier that I was sent is the space light. Now this comes in a really small package and it is completely foldable. This is an unboxing. I haven't opened this first. Is it an unboxing if it comes in a bag? So that's that. This is what comes with it. A couple of clips. I think this is a reflector. And this thing opens up and attaches in a vertical manner to your light. Now, because it's vertical, your light has to be on a extended pole. And I recommend having a um, option to weigh down your lighting setup. You don't want it to top over and um, kill everything in its path. So I've got one of these. This is a five kilogram shot bag. I paid about, um, it's just quite heavy. 30 US dollars for this from a local shop and yeah, it just makes everything a little bit more secure. You know, safety is uh, safety is number one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was good. Good stuff. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the space light. It's really light. It has some sort of um, like a little elastic band here that I assume just goes over um, the light mount. And then it drapes down like this and the idea is that the light fills this cylinder and exudes this beautiful soft light. Along with this, this is a silver reflector that you can attach to um, modify your space light. And then finally, the lighting modifier that I am most excited about because that's the one I needed, this is the Light Dome Mini. As you can see, it comes in a really small package. It has these little Velcros here. Again, I haven't opened this, so I'm not entirely sure what's in it. This is 
that's that. So this feels like the same, yes, the same setup as the bigger light dome. This is the mount. This goes into the uh, Bowens or Bowens mount of the actual light. And then in here, you put all the rods for the mini light dome and you can tighten that here. So let's, um, let's see what else is in here. It comes with a double diffuser. So this diffuser goes on the inside of the light. Ooh, it must bounce it around and you get a silver side and a golden side, which is cool. Then you get the second layer of diffusion. Voila, so that is, that is much smaller than the bigger light dome, but that's to be expected with a smaller light, of course. And then also another uh, modifier that comes with it is this grid. Now, I don't know too much about this, but I know it looks pretty professional when you put it on the light. I looked it up and turns out this is often used in portrait photography to get a better separation between your subject and the background. Now the final thing that's in this little bag is of course the actual um, mini dome, which features a silver interior to bounce the light around. Feels nice and sturdy and it mounts in that. I'll set that up in a second. Now the only downside that I've been told about this is that people find it a bit dangerous with these things sticking out. Luckily they come with these little balls at the end so you don't actually poke out your eye. But um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna set this up now and show you guys what this looks like. So little red, red dots on the rods go into the red dots on the mount. That's that, all right. Ha, it's so cute. How good, let's do this again. Hello, hello, can you see me? How good, <laughs> And then what you do is you mount this thing on the inside. Let's bounce off the silver light. So that goes there. This goes here, that goes there. And that goes here on that little Velcro bit. So what happens is the light mounts obviously <laughs> Luckily, they have these little balls out there. So the light goes in here and then bounces off the back of this reflector, um, bounces around in the silver bit and then gets diffused through the, where did I put it? Right here. Through this uh, sheet here. So let's mount that. Now one thing I also want to show you is this grid, this mini grid. So I guess like the, this is so useful to mount things on because it's so convenient and so quick to set up. Boom. All right, so now we have that. And I guess, yeah, it is, if, you know, you can see how it changes um, angles and it'll have a more direct beam. And yeah, I look forward to uh, experimenting with this, even though I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> I'm such a professional. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps. And also what really helps is leave me a comment and you can comment which lighting modifier you would use most or which one you find most interesting or literally comment anything. It helps the engagement on the video, which uh, shows it to more people, which helps the channel grow, which is great. More uh, growth on my channel, more videos and more high quality content for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you on the next video. Also come say hi on other social media platforms. I'm at Matt Joes pretty much anywhere. Once again, thanks Aperture and I hope to see you guys on the next video. All right, here we go, thumbnail time. I usually take photos, but for this, I'm gonna take a still off this 4K footage. So put this here, put this kind of in the frame. Title's gonna go in here, I reckon. And we're gonna try and make this look interesting. Now add a extremely stupid face. And that's how you get a thumbnail, fellas. <laughs> oh, try that again. This was so scary. So uh, I forgot to mention, there is a uh, zip at the bottom of the space light that you can unzip and then you can um, stick your head in it. I don't know why uh, that is there, but I assume it's to direct the light or something. And also it, it's a good content for the end of a YouTube video. Now we zip that back. And again, that audio must have been atrocious. Um, kind of give that a little twist. Now, how do you get that back into this? Who knows? Magic. It's one of those throw-up tents. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I think, and I always just kind of, just kind of try. You go like that, 
and then if you dick around with it long enough, it will <laughs> resemble a compact shape that fits in the bag it came with. Boom, done. How good. Look at that. Back when Instagram was good and didn't have a uh, soul-destroying algorithm ruining your feed and your life. Not your life. Maybe. A little bit. Love it. <laughs> How's this look? How do I look now? Is this shirt too dark? Do I look weird? Is it strange? I don't know. It's hard. It's so hot. I'm sweating. You have no idea how hot it is. Small but powerful beam of light or you can flood it out wider and that's um, that's pretty exciting. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this but it's good to have. It's literally just sweat. You see that? Sweat rolling down. It's so hot. It was 38 degrees in Sydney yesterday. I don't know what it is today but tell you what, it ain't good. I don't deal well with heat. Not at all. That's why I got a little sweat rag. Gotta stay fresh. Am I right, guys? Now, what did I miss? Oh, Jesus Christ. So hot. Damn. Oh, God. 